and Janiya, welcome to Upfront. So happy to be talking to you guys. I know it's been a while. We've been trying to get you guys on the show and we finally made it happen. So I'm so happy to have you guys here on the show. We're going to be talking about your amazing series on Revolt. But before we get into that, let's kind of go back if we can. When did you guys know that you wanted to be in the entertainment industry? And Janiya, we'll, we'll start with you. When did you know that you wanted to be an actress? Gosh, um, I knew I wanted to be an actor when I was about uh, six or seven years old, which was really, um, it was the same time that I started, I actually started writing, but I never saw myself writing in the industry. I didn't see myself directing in the industry because honestly, I grew up in Gary, Indiana, and I didn't know it was an option. You know, it was like, uh, becoming a basketball player, a rapper, an actor. It was, I didn't know that it was available to me. I, I wish I had known, but I'm also really happy that I, it began the way it did. It was an, it was a natural progression. And honestly, through my frustration, frustration, did I say it right? He always tells me I say it wrong, honey. <laughs> a little bit country. Yeah. Um, It was through my frustration with the industry and the roles I was being offered that I I really wanted to start creating content that uplifted and and really showed the truth about how beautiful our people are. Yeah. What say you, Sol? Yeah, how did, so you've been a, what I call, I consider you a behind the scenes star because you've worked on so many amazing projects behind the scenes as a sound mixer. So how did you know that you wanted to, to do that? Uh, it started at around 15, 16. Uh, my mom was a convention planner, meeting planner. And I got the opportunity to work with one of her friends, uh, Mario Jean out of New York on a convention one year and he does sound he does audio for big conferences and conventions and he let me work with him um and it kind of opened my eyes to you know just another another path another path of availability and it just uh it just opened my eyes and it got me thinking and wanting to study it more and back then i was a rapper i was an mc uh, back in those days and so i explored uh sound and audio engineering to have more control over my sound Okay. Uh, and to be, you know, to, to follow the independent route. And uh, one thing led to another. I went to school for it. I, I, uh, I went to several schools. I started at Morgan State University, and then I went to uh, the Institute of Audio Research to learn more about the craft. And then I uh, graduated from Long Island University, and I came out a year later and started working for BET in D.C., and I fell in love with it. And one thing led to another. And then uh, the Queen and I started producing content probably around about nine years ago. Yeah. Let's talk about your Revolt series, Anatomy. Can we talk about that a little bit? Let's do it. We can talk about that. Yeah, let's get in. How did that, how did you guys come up with that idea and, and create that? Well, it started as one piece. Uh, it was, it was um, centered around women for Women's History Month and our champion over, uh, who was at Revolt at the time, Robin Latica Johnson, who I had, um, and and let me just say this, it's a process being on the other side of the camera, just like anything else or any other dream you pursue. I I started pitching projects to Robin, gosh, probably it had been years that I'd been pitching different projects and things um, to Robin. But fast forward, Robin approached us about this project to do it around, uh, centered around women that are making leaps and bounds in the industry in front of and behind the camera and all different uh, ranges. And I came up with the name Anatomy of a Queen. We shot it and it did so well. Um, That was the first one. So that premiered in March of last year, Anatomy of a Queen. And then that went well. And we got signed on to do the following version, which was the anatomy of a king, honoring fathers from our community, you know, as, as fathers, we aren't often celebrated. So those were the first two out of the gate. And, um, you know, they got really good feedback and a, and a really good response. So we got signed on to do some more for 2020. Yeah. And, and how were you able to, uh, 
for lack of better words, find your talent or your subject matter for each series or each each episode? Primarily based on our relationships. You know, we've been um, in the industry and, in, you know, uh, a variety of capacities for 20, yeah. 20 years <laughs> each, you know. So we've, um, you know, we, we pretty much heavily relied on our, our personal relationships, you know, over the years. Um, and Revolt, you know, and their talent department was also uh, supportive in helping us get some talent as well for those pieces. Yeah. How do you guys keep the balance between working, uh, being in front of the camera, being behind the scenes, uh, post-production, as well as having your family and, and, and keeping things as grounded as possible? How do you guys do that? I don't think we do keep it in balance. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think we just do it. I think you just, you know, every day is different. Um, we absolutely love what we do. It's, it's all passion driven, so we don't mm -hmm. really turn it off. So, you know, sometimes, you know, when we're brushing our teeth, we're talking about, you know, new projects. Uh, both, uh, you know, our kids are involved in the, in the industry in their own way. Our daughter goes to an art school. Our son, um, who was homeschooled even before this, he creates stop motion films and he's done some work in, in front of the camera. So, you know, there's always some form of production <laughs> happening in our house at all times yeah. like every it, but we, we have our we have our family time and we have our game time and you yeah. know we like to travel we like to go places with them and you know see museums so you know we're 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 spontaneous but we're kind of you know i feel like always on our path always on our on our purpose that's the default and so you know it kind of always balances itself out you know like in 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 our industry I'm, you know, we, we go on hiatuses, you know? <laughs> right, like this little quarantine, honey, we would have been doing this anyway. Well, we would have been going out at night. Yeah. <laughs> to an occasional restaurant. Yeah. Or concert. Something like that. Or a trip. Yeah, but... we were supposed to be, we were supposed <laughs> to be, man, we were supposed to be in, on the, for our anniversary, we were going to go to Morocco and Barcelona. Spain, yeah. Uh, that got shut down. That got canceled. Yeah. Cancel, honey. Um, but yeah, we, 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 I don't know how we balance it out really, but we, 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 we kind of assess what all the needs are and kind of prioritize our energy like that. Yeah. I was going to say, let's keep our, our fingers crossed that we'll really be able to travel the way that we want to come 2021. 20, uh, I wanted to know what's next for you guys after the coronavirus, COVID-19 is, is, is settled down and we're able to get back in a sense to what we consider normal life. What's next for you guys? Ooh, we, got well, a we got a couple of things that we're really, 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 really excited about. Really excited about. Um, one thing is I just, um, I just did a, a, a really big uh, spot with Steph Curry, Under Armour, and Storm Reed, okay. which was so exciting for me. I really, uh, it's, it's content with the purpose over and over and over again. Steph and Storm, uh, they teamed up with Under Armour to do a piece that was centered around Women's History Month that was, uh, the goal was to uplift and inspire women all over the globe. And so I we found, found this amazing. girl, Janielle. She, um, she honestly, when I first saw her, she gave me Gianna vibes. And I didn't know at the time that she had played opposite Gianna and Gianna Bryant. Gianna Bryant. Okay. Um, and um, she got to meet Kobe a couple of weeks before he passed. And she was actually in the facility waiting on uh, Gianna and Kobe, Kobe and some of the other players that day. Okay. Wow. Um, yeah, but she is, she's here to shake things up in the basketball world. And really, I, I feel like the spot will inspire you no matter what you're into, because she's such a fierce little warrior. She's so fly. <laughs> so I got to do that spot with Steph and Storm and... and we, have a, we have a series in, in the early stages of development, but we are really excited about it because um, it's purpose-driven. Okay. It aligns with uh, our vision uh, uh, in regards to the kind of uh, uh, 
projects we want to create and get behind. So we can't talk about that uh, yet too much. Okay. But just know that it's on the horizon, uh, and it looks like 2021 will be the uh, premiere of that one. So stay tuned. And then uh, she's directing a feature film. Yeah, a period drama that takes place in the late 1800s, a period that I really, really, really like. And um, super excited. We're shooting it in Montana. Okay. First, it'll be her first feature film Yay. as a director. <laughs> well, guys, congratulations on everything. And again, thank you so much for being guests today on Upfront. How can our listeners and viewers keep up with you on social media? Hmm. Uh, my IG is uh, Sol, S-O-L, Aponte, A-P-O-N-T-E. That's the best way. And my, um, I'm really only on Instagram. I'm not on Facebook or Twitter anymore. I'm uh, at Jania Frederic. <laughs> is it on the bottom of the screen are you gonna <laughs> it will we'll put it up there somehow. <laughs> well guys thank you so much and uh awesome. best of luck to you and many blessings for the rest of the year and uh, again I'll, I'll definitely make sure that i stay in contact with you guys so that when those projects drop, we'll have you back on the show let's do it look thank forward to so it much. thank you so much ray i appreciate you thanks for having us all right all right